something literally wild has just happened to the Shiba Inu. Shiba Inu developers might have just dropped a bombshell, a Shiba Inu ETF. Can you believe it? The news has got me so bullish and pumped up, and I can't wait to dive into the details with you. No time to waste, let's jump right into the heart of this thrilling revelation. Disclaimer. But before we get to that, let's get to the very beginning of the story. Cryptocurrency exchange traded funds are a hot topic lately, especially with the recent approval of Bitcoin ETFs. To understand why this is a big deal, let's look back. Early attempts by people like the Winklevoss brothers and Grayscale to get Bitcoin ETFs approved didn't work out. But then, in June, BlackRock, a major player in finance, filed to start a Bitcoin ETF. This move caused a ripple effect, with other big financial names like Vanek and Fidelity jumping in. Trillions of US dollars were at stake by that time. The approval of these Bitcoin ETFs is a turning point, showing that cryptocurrencies are becoming more accepted in traditional finance. And just today, something massive just happened. In the latest issue of the Shiba Inu magazine, a spotlight was cast on the potential creation of a Shiba Inu ETF. This magazine has become a hub for discussions within the Shiba Inu ecosystem. If you remember, Shiba Inu developers post weekly updates to the community by releasing something called a Shiba Inu magazine, where all the updates and developments that occurred during the last week are listed. On the cover page of the latest Shiba Inu magazine, there's a bold question that caught everyone's attention. When Shiba ETF... It's quite a wild idea, and it's got the community buzzing. Could this be a hint at a potential Shiba Inu ETF in the works? The excitement and curiosity around this question are quite palpable. But here's something very important we should understand. First off, Shiba Inu, like Bitcoin, has a limited supply. This means there's only a certain amount of Shiba Inu coins available, creating a sense of scarcity. If a Shiba Inu ETF gets approved, it could open the door for traditional finance investors to invest in Shiba Inu. To understand the potential impact of a Shiba Inu ETF, let's consider the scale of the cryptocurrency market compared to traditional finance. The crypto market, while growing rapidly, is still relatively small in terms of adoption and user base when compared to traditional finance. In the traditional finance realm, millions, if not billions of people globally are actively engaged in various financial instruments, from stocks and bonds to mutual funds and retirement accounts. The infrastructure and accessibility of traditional financial products have been established for decades, making them easily accessible to a broad user base. Now, shift the focus to the crypto market. While it has seen significant growth, the user base is comparatively smaller. Cryptocurrencies are still in the early stages of widespread adoption, with a fraction of the global population actively participating. Factors like regulatory uncertainties, Technical complexities and a learning curve for newcomers have contributed to this slower pace of adoption. If a Shiba Inu ETF is approved, it could serve as a bridge between the relatively small crypto market and the vast user base of traditional finance. This ETF would essentially open doors for billions of people worldwide who are already familiar with traditional financial instruments but may not have ventured into the crypto space. The familiarity of an ETF structure makes it more accessible to a broader audience. Investors who might have been hesitant or found the crypto market intimidating could now consider Shiba Inu as a part of their investment portfolio through a familiar and regulated avenue. This influx of new participants from the traditional finance space could significantly expand Shiba Inu's user base and contribute to its overall adoption. And here's where things get interesting. This potential influx of new investors could lead to increased demand for Shiba Inu. With a limited supply and growing demand, Basic economics tells us that the price could see a positive impact. We've seen similar dynamics play out with other cryptocurrencies when they gained more accessibility through investment products. Moreover, the approval of a Shiba Inu ETF would likely bring more legitimacy to the project. It's not just about being a meme coin anymore. It's about being recognized as a legitimate digital asset with real-world utility and value. This shift in perception could attract even more interest from both individual and institutional investors. The question, when Shiba ETF, has been persistently circulating on social media platforms, echoing the curiosity and anticipation within the Shiba Inu community. This query, often repeated by enthusiasts on various online forums, exemplifies the community's interest in the potential development of a Shiba Inu ETF and its potential impact. Now some might ask, but who would even apply for a Shiba Inu ETF in the first place? 
Picture this. Big financial institutions, companies that manage lots of money, or even those firms that deal specifically with cryptocurrency stuff. Why? Well, apart from wanting to get in on the crypto action, these companies are all about those fees. You know, the money they make when people trade or invest. So if they see people getting all interested in Shiba Inu, it's a bit of a no-brainer for them. They might think, hey, people want this. Let's try to make a Shiba Inu ETF. It's like tapping into a market where they know there's demand. And speaking of demand, did you know Shiba Inu has over 1.3 million holders worldwide? That's a bunch of people who are already into it. So when these big financial players see that kind of interest, it makes the idea of a Shiba Inu ETF even more attractive to them. It's like they're saying, why not give the people what they want? So it's not just about the tech or the crypto lingo. It's about people seeing something they like and those big firms saying, all right, let's make it happen. It's a bit like a dance between what people want and what these big money folks can offer. And in the middle of it all, you have this when Shiba ETF question making waves on social media, the heartbeat of the Shiba Inu community. But the majority of Shiba Inu investors are interested only in the effect Shiba Inu ETF will have on Shiba Inu's price. And here's something very important we have to understand. You remember how the whole community was speculating that if Bitcoin ETF will get approved, then it will send Bitcoin to the moon in the matter of days? Now here's the thing. Even though these ETFs got approved, it didn't cause a sudden jump in Bitcoin prices like many expected. And the reason why, as it turned out, is the way these ETFs work, and it is a bit tricky. They create shares using cash, which is then used to buy Bitcoin a day before people start trading the ETF shares. It's not as straightforward as regular trading, and there's also something called over-the-counter trading involved. Imagine you want to invest in a Bitcoin ETF, and it's like buying a slice of a big Bitcoin pie. Instead of directly buying Bitcoin, you give money to the ETF, and they use that money to get Bitcoin a day before you can actually trade your slice. Think of it like ordering a pizza. You pay the pizza place in advance, and they promise to deliver your pizza the next day. Now, this ETF process is a bit like that. They prepare your Bitcoin slice in advance, and the next day, you can start enjoying it or trade it with others. But here's the twist. They don't just go to a regular Bitcoin store. They use something called over-the-counter trading. It's like getting a special private deal for your pizza ingredients, not the usual store shelf prices. So in the end, while it's a cool way to get into the Bitcoin game, it's not as simple as walking into a store and buying a pizza. There are some behind-the-scenes steps, but it's all part of the process to make sure everyone gets a fair share of the Bitcoin pie. Now, why does this matter? Well, Bitcoin, same as Shiba Inu, has a limited supply. And as more people invest in ETFs, there might not be enough Bitcoin to go around. This could affect prices and make things more complicated. In a nutshell, the approval of Bitcoin ETFs is a big deal but it's not a magic button that makes Bitcoin prices shoot up that fast. Have some patience. It's part of a bigger story about how traditional finance and digital currencies are starting to mix, and we'll probably see more changes in the future. But what is your opinion on that? Comment down below. I'd be eager to read your opinion. If you are curious to find more, then click one of the videos you see on screen. And with that, we come to the end of this video. If you enjoyed the video, then please like this video, and don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section. This really helps me with the YouTube algorithm. Also, please share this video to as many people as possible. Let's get this news out there.